Hey YouTube, this is going to be a quick video to show off the CB radio I just installed in my uh, Gladiator. And I'm going to do my best to just show you how I installed it because I looked on YouTube, I couldn't really find uh, that many clear videos to explain um, it for a Gladiator, um, what like for what I was wanting to do. So here it is, I'm just going to start walking you around and let you see uh, what, I, what we did. Hey, so I'm using a Cobra 75 and a fire stick off my JK. And uh, what I was going for was a bolt on, very simple to install, very clean and um, inconspicuous. I mean, obviously you're gonna see an antenna, um, but that was basically the, the cleanest mount that I could find that was like easy and you don't see like a massive amount of wiring. Um, even on the outside, there's just a hair spot where you can see the wire, like, wire behind the um, tramp. But like, if you look in here, you can't see any wires under the dash. You don't even see the CB in the, to the Jeep. If you, even if you look down, it looks like it's gone. And that's because it's just sitting in the center console. Um, and it's just in the center console because that's where the wire leads to. Um, you could have the wire come out wherever you wanted to, but it, that just seemed overly convenient to, that I can just stuff it in the, um, the center console when I'm not using it. And uh, I don't have to worry about it. So here I'm going to go through and shoot through and uh, show you how I did the install. So this is the mount that I went with. It is available from Right Channel Radio and also available from Quadratech and maybe some other places. And there are four spots within the hood that you can mount it. However, if you have a Rubicon like me, you can only use a back tube because the fenders are so tall that the cable will not uh, like fit there with a the stud. The stud that you use, um, you want to make sure that you have a 90 degree cable on the end of it. There's a special fire stick brand one that I can uh, link or I'll show you a picture of it or something like that that allows you to make a 90 degree turn off the cable. So if you look here, you can see there it is right there. Um, you don't have the cable coming straight down instead of it's, um, it's coming off at 90 degrees with what they call the, the fire ring. And uh, that simply bolts on, very easy to bolt on. And then the, the routing of the cable, which was what I was, what I was interested in, basically goes between that uh, foam thing. And then you take that plate off. There's four um, Torx bolts that you use. But obviously, every Jeep comes with a, uh, a toolkit that they give you to take the top off. And that toolkit, you can use to take those out, the out very easy. Then it's routed through the door frame. But it's fine that's going through the door frame because that's just uh, um, rubber right there. The nine foot cable then just basically follows the bottom of the dashboard area and it's uh, zip tied in different places. Um, and then there's a clear opening back there um, that you can get to. That right there is a cable that goes to the handset and I decided to run it um, basically underneath the carpeting. So there's an antenna wire right there and uh, the upper one is actually the aux cables that I'm using. I have the aux and then there's a box um, and I mounted the box on the corner there. And uh, because it's a nine foot cable, you don't want really any hoops in the cable. There's a ground connection underneath there that you can get to. For power, I use the aux switches that my vehicle has. The aux wiring is in two locations. There's one spot uh, right where that black wire was underneath the, the glove box, and then there's another one um, near the battery terminal. And you want to use a red and white cable, that's a battery wire. So if you don't have the aux switches like I do, then you could run the wires directly to the battery, which is also good, but you want to use the battery aux switches um, to reduce noise. The only real problem I had during the install is I didn't actually look that closely at the instructions, and this wiring chart right here explains how to hook the fire ring up to the antenna, and if you put these in the wrong order, it absolutely will not work, so just uh, put them on like following the instructions and it will work great. So this is the 9 foot cable with a fire ring on the end of it and you'll see the part number but I will go through and make sure that the part number is on the um, description also. So very easy to install and uh, there you go.